Sosalito, how are you doing? Do you make the ginger uh, garlic dressing yourself or buy it? Uh, this ginger garlic dressing, I didn't make myself. I was going to bring out the jar, but I decided not to. I just poured it on top. And it's the last jar of this we're going to buy from this uh, farmer's market we go to. And this links into politics because th there's a local farm that has a farmer's market every Saturday that we're going to, I was going to, you know, two, three times sometimes a month to buy things from them, right? One to three times a month I was going to buy things from them. Last time I went, I was going to get some kitty cat grass. Last few times I've gone, get some kitty cat grass, but the guy who makes the kitty cat grass hasn't been doing it for them, right? So I said, oh, I went up there again. I said, and I buy other things from them, garlic and whatnot, right? And I went to him, I go, you got any more kitty cat grass this week? And the girl I talked to, she said, no, the guy who makes it is in Israel. I went, what? And she goes, yeah, he's in Israel. An opening, uh, and there was an opening at one of these retreats that Israel provides uh, to people. Uh, so he went. Usually there's like many months wait. But this time, you know, there was an opening. So he went. I said, well, and, she, and then she goes, and then she goes, oh, but don't worry. He's in a safe place. I go, well, obviously he's not in Gaza, right? He goes, oh, no, no, he's in a kibbutz up north somewhere like this. I go, okay, it, it caught me by surprise. So I didn't pursue it. But basically, the reason why there's an opening is because Israel provides for occupied territories, for kibbutzes and uh, what do you call it, settlements and stuff like this. They bring in Jews from all over the world to go live in these nice places, pools, you know, get together in a bubble. They don't tell them this is occupied territory, they're committing genocide to steal people's land and shit like this, right? So there was an opening. Usually there's a huge waiting list, right? I know people who've gone. There's a huge waiting list. But there was an opening because people are going, fuck, I ain't going there, man. <laughs> it's a fucking war zone. Not only that, fucking Israel's committing genocide. If you're fucking got half a conscience, you wouldn't go, right? But this guy went, right? So I've decided to stop buying from them. So I'm following my own advice, right? My own morals. Uh, I'm boycotting anything associated with Israel. That includes fucking people, right? You support genocide, get the fuck out of my house. I ain't giving you a fucking cent if I used to buy from you, right? I don't, I don't do business with fucking people that commit genocide, right? Just think about this. If you were living in Germany in the 1930s, would you do business with the Nazis? Prescott Bush did. The U.S. government did. IBM did, right? I wouldn't, right? And that's happening right now. Aaron Bushnell said it, right? That's happening right now. So if you have a fucking ounce of conscience, you will not do business with anyone that supports Israel. End the fucking story. That includes fucking family, neighbors, farmers, markets. Okay? So we'll be making our own ginger garlic. And I just ordered a fucking shit ton of grass seeds <laughs> because I didn't mind giving the farmers market. You know, I would buy grass from them, buy garlic from them, buy herbs from them and shit like this, right? But I can find another source to buy those and I can plant my own fucking grass seeds for the kitty cats, right? It's too bad. Nice people. But hey, there were a lot of good Germans. You know, there's a saying that says you're a good German. Right? Uh, in World War II, there were good Germans. Nah, man. They were ignorant Germans. They were blind Germans during World War II. There weren't really any good Germans, except those that resisted genocide. There's a picture of black and white picture of there's like hundreds of people giving the high hitler salute right historical picture and there's one person with their arms crossed and they wouldn't give the salute right from what i understand that person got sent to a camp and he died or got sent to the eastern front and he died right but man he died honorably right he didn't support nazis supremacist genocide fuck them right